I am Honorable E.J. Agbonyima, representing the good people of Ego Bobaha Federal Constituency, Edo State. Today, I want to tell Nigerians what is happening in this great country. Nigeria could be a, a greater and better nation if all of us put our hands on deck. Here's another expose that the DG Nema is taking Nigerians for a ride. And not only taking Nigerians for a ride, he's taking National Assembly for a ride. He had been invited on several occasions and he had refused to come. Only very, very valuable information that Nigeria wants to know, we represent our very constituency. Nobody's above the law. How can a DG haven't been engaged less just three months, barely three months, in one month alone, he has expended 13 billion naira of taxpayers' money. Your money. He has expended 30 billion naira without recourse. It is our constitution that should guide us, that should let us know how we should govern. And we are here to represent our various constituency. Nobody should accept it. Nigerians are suffering, and those in IDP's camp, they are part of us. They are Nigerians. Money meant for them to kuchin, to at least to help them, to get them back to life so that they can live like you and I. And how can a DG, engineer Mustafa, spend 13 billion naira in less than one month? And National Assembly have invited him, and he has refused to appear before this honorable house. Nobody is above the law. I am not above the law. I am not. And he is not either. He must tell us, he must tell this honorable house what happened to the 13 billion, what he used them for. Until proven guilty, you are an innocent. If you have nothing to hide, Mr. DG, he must appear before this honorable house on Thursday. Nigeria deserve to know what is happening. Everybody have the right to know how their money is being put into use. And you are not different. So you must tell Nigerians what you use 13 billion naira for. IDP, they are still suffering. 13 billion naira gone in one month, and you cannot tell us how the money was used? Look, Nigerians deserve to know. With the way the IDPs, men and women, young and old, are suffering today, they deserve a better life. It would be a sin to God and to mankind to treat them differently from myself, from yourself. So you own Nigerians. To explain to us, how did you spend 30 billion naira in curbing the problem of IDPs? It's just that simple. You must appear before this honorable house to appear on the committee on NEMA. That oversight, everything that has to be done on IDP, that is the act establishing NEMA, is clearly stated. You can only expend any money with the approval of National Assembly. And that is called AIE, Authority in Cure Expenditure. You must obtain that from the house because you can spend any cover. But today, you have spent over 13 billion naira of Nigeria's money. And still, we cannot get any result in helping our IDPs who are in various camps in Nigeria. They deserve a better life. They deserve a better life. 